Hey guys, we're back with another robotic review, and this time, it's not Rover, but this uh, I th I believe is also from Brookstone. Here is the Sky Rider UFO. It's got a little stand here, little double propeller. You know, one goes one way and the other goes the other. Yeah. And the reason, and you're probably wondering. Why they call it the Skyrider UFO? Well, <laughs> there's a good reason for that. Because it writes in the sky, or not really, but see this light here, or this light. This, I believe, yeah, this is um, she has a blue light for an outline, one here, one here, and over here is red. These are red lights, actually. And you can see the little microchip actually. Let's get some good cameraing on that. Gosh. Here we go. See? So, anyway. Yeah, so, um. And then the. And then these right here actually are red and they spell out the word and then the way you control it is this remote on off I just want to say battery so actually you cannot turn the UFO it actually has a mind of its own just the back which is pretty plain besides all these words this device complies with 15 parts blah 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 alright so but in case you're wondering what these arrows are for um, that's on and off. The red means its battery is low. This thing's not that. This is auto, which spells hello on here. You can hold up to five letters. Or, it don't, you have to have five letters. Gosh, fingerprints. That says enter, so I've spelled the word Legos on here. Let's see, since I have a... Personally like Legos. Anyway, so without the review part, let's get down to business. See? Can you guys see it okay? Alright. And it's on. Now be careful with, with the Serato. Because, oh, oh yeah. It also has the tendency to fall. So if it falls a lot, hey, I can't do anything about it, alright? I got this for for Christmas. Scooch back a little bit so it doesn't cut blow anything up. Look at that. Just Yeah. Again, the Serato is right here. The signal does not bounce at all, which is a little sad, but anyway. Um, anyway, let's take this thing outside, shall we? Okay, guys, we're back in a nice sunny day outside. My dog, say hi, Dadis. Hi, Dadis. All right, here is Shopper. Just kidding. I, yeah, you can't really see the lights that well since the sun's out here and just got back from school. Standardized testing week. But anyway, let's see if we can get this thing to work. Again, the signal's very bad. Look how high that thing goes. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. No, no. Oh, good. Alright. Guys, I can... I will tell you why that fell. Hang here. Just take it right over here. Hopefully nothing broke. So, the reason why it fell is... You saw I went almost as high as that tree over there. Oh, uh, look, it's a good... Yeah, it's a nice tree with the tire swing over there. Trampoline, you can't really see that much anyway. But... The reason why you couldn't see it, or it fell, is because it always needs some kind of signal to know if it should come down or not. So, and since the signal is extremely weak, once it got that high, it could not receive the signal anymore. So, it fell. Luckily, this thing's made of some nice plastic, so no dents at all. But, anyway, oh. Let's take it inside a little bit. Gosh, the door's locked. Sorry, guys. My YouTube videos are a little cuckoo. Yeah, subscribe to my channel. Especially if you... Yeah. Oh, sub. Sub to my channel, comment. And especially if you want to see... Total Drama All-Star videos. I actually just happen to have those. Let's see. That was not an interesting clip I actually was hoping it'd be a little more interesting. But alright. Subscribe and see ya.